Let's say we needed to find out how many hours and minutes there were between 8.42 a.m. and 3.25 p.m. Now, this problem is made a lot simpler if you consider both times in 24-hour clock. That's only really my personal preference. You might prefer to do it another way. So I convert it into 24-hour clock, so 8.42, and 3.25 is 15.25 in 24-hour. And what I want to do is I want to split this problem up so that I'm looking at how many minutes will get me to 9 o'clock, then how many hours will get me to 3 o'clock, and then again how many minutes will get me to 25 past 3. And so I'm looking at these time gaps and adding up my three answers. So I've got 8, 18 minutes from 8.42 to 9, so 18 minutes. And then from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock, there's going to be 6 hours. You can see that it's much easier to determine how many hours there are in this case, when you're in 24-hour clock. And then from 3 o'clock to 3.25, there are 25 minutes. So we have 6 hours, 18 minutes, and 25 minutes makes 6 hours, and or 18 plus 25 is 43 minutes. And so you can see that if you break the problem down into finding the gaps and making it easier on yourself this way, it's kind of like a number line, that mean, that will allow you to find the in-between time quite easily.